Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Connect and Celebrate Wonder. Communication is the foundation for success in any relationship. It's a way to form intimate and lasting connections, and developing our relationship with God through prayer is no different. Praying is a powerful force for change in our lives, and it's never too late to begin this daily practice. Teaching our children to pray helps them to develop a personal and deeper relationship with God and opens their hearts to who God created them to be. When prayer becomes a daily practice, we are better equipped to handle all that life has to offer. Prayer transforms us and becomes a powerful force for change. This collaborative partnership with God is his greatest desire for our lives. In this session, the disciples ask, Lord, how should we pray? Jesus answers by first instructing them what prayer is not. He speaks out against those who grandstand in prayer in an effort to impress others and appear pious. He does not by any means condemn public prayer, but teaches us that prayer is not showy or meant to gain attention. It's not repetitive, babbling, using meaningless words. It's a simple form. Jesus explains that prayer is personal. So just be yourself. For your Father already knows what you need before you ask Him. Whether our prayers are our praise and thanksgiving, acknowledgement of our dependence, or an admittance of our sin, children need to understand that prayer is not for God's benefit, it's for ours. In this session, children will learn how Jesus taught us to pray using the Lord's Prayer, a prayer that tells us who God is and how we should live in his kingdom. It's time for Kids Connect. Hi, everyone. Let's see what's in our Wonder Box this week. Hold that. In our story today, the disciples asked Jesus how to pray. Jesus explained that praying is how we talk to God. Talking to God is no different than talking to people who we are close with, like our family or our best friend. We can just be ourselves. Jesus taught the disciples the Lord's Prayer. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, we make a promise to God that we will do our best to follow Jesus, to live and love the way he did. God wants to hear from us. When we pray, we can pray about sad things or if we're happy, but God wants us to pray for others too. So Emma made these prayer hands. Each finger reminds her of who to pray for. On her thumb, we pray, since our thumb is closest to us, we pray for our family and friends. And she put on there, who's that? My mom my mom, but she also wanted to pray for her dad and her brother too, but she decided to put her mom on there. The pointer finger, which is next to her, pray for those who guide and care for us, like our essential workers, our teachers, our doctors, our nurses, pastors. They could be firemen or bus drivers. Who did you decide to put on your pointer finger? My teacher. What's your teacher's name? Miss Joffrey. Miss Joffrey. Okay, we're going to hold it down just a little. The next finger is our tallest finger. Those are people we pray for our leaders in big positions, like our president or our governors that lead our state. Who is on your tallest finger? Our president. The president is on there. The next finger is our ring finger. It's our weakest finger. So those are people we pray for that are elderly or could be hungry or sick or poor. And this is who? That's Her name is Kapinga, and she's the little girl that we're raising money for in 30 hour, the 30-hour famine. And then the last finger is yourself. Who's on the last finger? Me. Me. And you could pray to God for things that you're happy about or even when you're sad or need something. You can learn the Lord's Prayer and make your own praying hands like Emma did, and it's on our Rooted website. Praying is just talking to God, and it can be done anywhere at any time about anything. You can even pray when you're playing on the playground or riding your bike or if you're in the car or before you go to bed at night. 
when we pray and open our hearts to God, he talks to us. We might not hear his actual voice, but we can feel him in our hearts. And did you know that God answers our prayers? But we don't always get what we want. Sometimes he answers our prayers in direct ways. That means he says yes right away. Sometimes he answers our prayer in delayed ways. It takes time. It could take days. It could take months to get an answer or it could even take years. Some answers are disguised. That means what we prayed for isn't quite what we asked for, but in the long run, God gave us something much better. And some answers are denied. It's just like a parent. Sometimes God says no. He loves you too much to give you everything that you ask for. All these answers are God's way of saying, I know what's best for your life. You may not understand the answers I give you, but trust me because I love you and I will always protect and guide you. So boys and girls, have a great week. Love and miss you all.